Alright, hi guys, welcome to week two. And we want to give you a new lineup of exercises that you can do. So what we're going to do is go through each of the exercises, demonstrate how it's done in proper form, and then you can pause, watch the exercise, and pause in between to actually complete your sets and reps. So we're going to start warming up the lower body, getting those large muscles of the legs working. We have an offset squat. Left foot is slightly forward, right foot is back, and you're up on that right toe. You're lining up the right toes with the left heel, and we're just going to start a basic squat. You're squatting down. You're going to feel that left leg doing a lot of work, but you want to keep your weight centered between both feet. Complete a few reps there. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side. So it's not a lunge. It's just slightly offset. Sinking down, keeping the chest up high. Make sure the rear end is reaching back so that that knee is not traveling forward over the toe. Once you've completed your repetitions with that left foot forward, you're going to do the same thing with the right foot forward. So let me show you the side view of this. We're just going to squat down, exactly the same exercise. And you go ahead and try it for yourself. Yeah. 
loop and get more muscles working together is to add a squat to that movement. Now, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it, or a natural way and an unnatural way. What I want you to do is drop the button down, arms are straight, and then stand up and pull them in and make sure the wrists tap on the ribs as you come up. Go down, breathing in, breathing in. As you're breathing in and coming up, try to pull the shoulder blades together at the back, not up and into the, into the neck, but back and together like I'm trying to squeeze something back there into behind the shoulder blades. Up and in, down and out, keeping the weight in the heels. Try to keep the chest nice and tall as I go. Nice tall posture. Bring the arms in and out in synchrony. And you will find that that is an exercise that gets all the muscles working together. It's a great exercise and also it will help improve your posture. body work in here. We are doing some rotational strength and stability and we're going to grab a hold of the band. Make sure that your body is parallel to those bands. Feet are pointed the opposite direction. They're perpendicular. Knees are slightly bent and we're going to bring that around until the band just taps you lightly on the shoulder. You want to make sure you're doing all the work through the core. You're keeping the shoulders and the chest up nice and high. Slight bend in the knees. Good. Let me step back, show you this from another angle. Again, feet are good width apart. Just lightly bring that around so the band taps on the shoulder. And then you're going to turn around, do it on the reverse side. Go ahead and give it a try. So now we're going to do a push-up, which we're going to call a left hand forward push-up. Now, when obviously you'll do the other side when you switch it over, but here's how Rebecca's going to do it. She's going to bring herself forward, she's going to make sure, she's going to go on toes because she's a big shoulder. And she's going to go, make sure that her butt, shoulders and knees are in a straight line. By keeping them in a straight line and keeping the chest tilted up and not caving down, that means that she's going to work the core and the chest muscles and not all the tight neck muscles. So here's how it goes. She's got the left hand forward, right hand back. She's going to just drop down, not go below the elbows horizontal to the ground. We don't have to scrape the chest along the ground. We just have to make sure that we breathe as we go. So we're breathing in. So we're breathing in, out, in, out. Good. Keeping that butt down and chest and, chest and knees and shoulders in one. Very good. Nice. Good. Relax. And if you were going on knees, here's how it would look. So give me your knees, and we're going to make sure that the knees are there, but this butt is still down. This butt still remains down. That's the key part. A lot of people will dive, dive that up to try and use different muscles, but we want to go here. If it's too hard, just go a reduced range of motion. So we've got a half range of motion that would look like this. Just a little quarter of the way, and a quarter of the way. What's most important is this part right here. And that's how you do a left hand forward. So, our last exercise for this workout is a great core challenger. What's going to happen is Rebecca is going to hold a plank position, but she's going to move laterally or side to side. So she's going to, we've got a line right here on the floor, she's going to bring herself to one side of the line, and then to the other side of the line. It looks really simple, but what's beautiful about it is, every time one of these feet pick up, that means you've got three points of contact instead of four. So right now she's going side to side, you can see, She's maintaining that butt down position, not letting the butt sag down and drive up too high. As you're doing this one at home, make sure you brace the abdominals, as if someone's about to punch you in the stomach. That's a great way to make sure that you protect the low back. If the low back bugs you, then this isn't the right exercise for you. If this is too challenging, try putting your hands up on a bench or something at a higher level, so that way the core doesn't have to work quite as hard. Good one. Good. Nice work. And that is how you do your side to side. Roll.